Hey, my name is Chris Gonzalez, and today I'm going to show you how to turn this and this into this. Go ahead and open up your file. Select the apple and open it. Now that it's here, you're going to place the lion mouth. Go to file again, place, select the mouth, and place. Now, you gotta get rid of this little X bounding box. This means it's a smart object, but right now we don't really want that. So, go ahead and select the file, sorry, the layer, and go to here, click something, and it'll bring this dialog up, hit OK. This basically turns it into a regular object. Now, select it, and create a mask. This is gonna give you a little white square next to your layer. This means that this is what's visible. What's white is visible, what's black is not. Hit the lasso tool, and select around the mouth now. Now, don't worry, it's too close or not. We're gonna clean this up later. But now, inverse your selection. So, hit Command-Shift-I if you're on Windows, Control-Shift-I, and it's gonna reverse the opposite. Be, be sure your background is set to black, and when you hit Delete, it gets rid of everything. But it's actually still there, so you can modify it. Rather than using the Delete key, it just hides it. So, you can move it, select the moving key. Be sure you select your actual layer, not your mask. Move it around, put it where you're happy, I kind of want to put it right here. It's a little bit out of the apple, that way it can kind of stretch out, maybe look like a mouth. Now select your brush, select black, and a smooth brush. I like to use this one, because I have a Wacom tablet, so it kind of helps out with the pressure sensitivity. Now put the flow to something less than 100, something like 40 is good. Now you see how this is turning black? It's actually because I have selected the layer rather than the mask. So undo that, select the, la the actual mask, Go back on here, and when you start painting on it with white, it starts to show up. If you start painting it with black, it starts to hide it. And this is how we're going to get rid of these edges and get some smooth edges around this. Now, you can kind of see around and see how it's transparent. All right, cool. So putting it back into place. Kind of fast forward through this real quick. And basically, you're going to control the flow to make it match as naturally as possible as you can. Oh, and a quick shortcut. Those will make your brush bigger or larger. Sorry, smaller or larger. Here we go. All right, now for the mouth, the part with the teeth is going to be kind of more complicated, especially if you're trying to do it with a brush. So what we're going to do is use the pen tool instead. If you haven't used the pen tool, I recommend you look up some tutorials on how to use it because it's a really, really interesting tool. It's really powerful, but it definitely requires its own tutorial on its own. So if you haven't used it before, really recommend to go search uh, pen tutorials. And just in case you don't remember, if you need to modify some stuff, so if you're kind of messing with it, kind of messed one up, hit Alt, and you can actually modify what you've already put down as your anchor points. Here we go. So we'll finish this up. Close your loop. And there we go. Now it's closed. Now this is going to let us create a path. So go to Path and make a selection out of the path. Uh, for this, you don't have to put any feather, so just hit OK. Now that's selected. Now go back to your layer, and we're gonna delete on here, so it basically paints it black. So be sure this is set to black on the background. Hit Delete, and now it got rid of it. And now it's clean, smooth lines, so it looks much better than if you had tried to brush it out. If you've gotten this far so far, good job. Now, we're going to organize our layers, because we don't want to mess of a bunch of layers and stuff, so we're going to name this Mouth. Now, because we're going to be using this tutorial's background layer as a transparency, we're going to go ahead and select this layer with a lock on it, and create duplicates twice. So hit Command-J, or Control-J for Windows, twice, and get rid of the one with the lock. So select it, go down to the little trash can, click it, and now for these two, we're going to call it Front and Back. So the bottom one we'll call Back, top one we'll call front. What's going to happen is you're going to have two layers of apples stacked on top of one another. Think of layers as transparencies in case you haven't messed with them before. So what we're going to do is create another transparency underneath those, call it white, select the white, sorry, select the bucket paint, and actually paint it white. So now we have another background. So when you start to modify with the backgrounds on the apples, it won't actually modify your final background. So select the apples and also give them a mask layer. There we go. Now go to the front one. Select the lasso tool 
on the actual layer and select where your mouth is going to be. So go ahead and kind of make it a big portion. This is where I'm going to do it. It doesn't have to be exact. It doesn't have to be straight layers either. Now go to Edit, Transform, and Warp. And you're going to try to get this as close to the jawline but a little past it. So it actually looks like it's a part of the mouth. So there you go. Try and line it up there. And when you're doing this, mind the back because it's also going to kind of separate. So you're going to want to bring it down just a notch just so it kind of blends well. Now, as you're moving this, you're going to notice that there's going to be separating pieces that are going to have hard edges. What you're going to want to do is clean them up with a another mask. So for now, we're going to do the bottom piece. And then we'll revisit the other thing and fix it up. So select the bottom part of the mouth. It's good right there. Edit, transform, warp. And again, just kind of pull around. That's good. And hit Command D to deselect. If you kind of look closely, you can see some sharp lines around here. That's what I was talking about. If you hide the layer below it, you'll be able to see it. So what we're going to do to get rid of this, to make it look a little nicer, is select the mask, paint with black, and delete. Sorry, not delete, but erase around it. Just paint with black until the edges are smooth. Now that that's gone, show your layer underneath it again and you'll be able to see that now it's a smooth color. And so now we're going to get rid of this little extra piece behind the teeth. Don't worry, just kind of paint with black around that. And pretty good. Now we're going to get rid of the last part on the on this first apple, the front apple. And see, now it's pretty good. So that's so far your layers combined. Now you got to get rid of this last piece on this last apple. So since it's a pretty straightforward part, you're just going to select it with the lasso tool like you got rid of the mouth. Be sure your background is set to black. Be sure you're selected on the mask and hit delete. And instantly clear. And there you go. That's pretty much all of that. Now we're going to do a small correction on the colors. This is the reason why we got rid of the smart objects. Go to image, adjustment, color balance. Go to yellow. Drag it down a bit towards the yellow. Just kind of warm it up and get rid of some of that green. Go to magenta. And there we go. That looks pretty good. Before, after. Hit OK. And you're done. So this is all it took to create the Bad Apple tutorial. So if this is your first time photoshopping anything like this, good job and congratulations. Go ahead and save it as. Save it as Photoshop, actually. Always keep copy of this. And if you guys want, you can go ahead and post links to your photos. And, you know, I'd be glad to look at them, review them, and give you some pointers on it. Uh, also, if you guys want to give some comments below, uh, you can let me know what kind of tutorials you want to see in the future. And I'll run some uh, probably contest and maybe we can see who gets to win some cool prizes and don't forget if you guys need brushes or textures or anything like that go to brusheasy.com they're full of resources that are free so totally worth going over there and by the way thanks if you guys like the video favorite and subscribe the tutorials after this are going to be crazy so don't forget my name is Chris Gonzalez and this has been my visual poetry